Longer box clips. Don't you recommend turning off DMs for scam purposes? Anybody want to screenshot that anywhere? Anybody ever heard me say that? No. I tell you, don't get into direct messages with people. If you are one of our members and you are caught direct messaging people, I will remove you from our room for breaking our rules. Uh, but it has nothing to do with that. I have a whole video on that. Go uh, check out the discipline video. Uh, it avoids all kinds of issues. Everything from people. Listen, we've had good hearted people. I'm going to go ahead and talk about a few of them. We've had good hearted individuals, you know, become friends in our room and things of that sort. But what's weird is, is, you know, these long distance friend relationship things where you're making friends online or whatever. The only thing it does is cause problems. So just be honest. I don't say the only thing there can be other things, but the risk is too great for the reward because we've had people who have guilted people into making them feel like <clears throat> like they have a health problem all of a sudden. And listen, it's going to happen to everybody. I just want to warn everybody. It's like, oh, we're feeling to this health problem. Listen, dime a dozen. Okay? You, you are not guaranteed health here on Earth. Okay, You are not guaranteed to live here forever. Okay, Everybody's going to die. Okay, Get used to it. Okay, Your health is not everything. And your health and the responsibilities of the people around you, bro, listen. You're like, oh, my dad. Da, da, da. Listen, your dad. How did your dad eat? Did your dad? Did your dad care about living a long time? Well, how, how did he eat? Did he eat well? Maybe you know. Did the did the mom help him out? Did she feed him right. Listen, I'm not, don't share your stuff with me about your family life if you don't want my chastisement of the same. Okay. And I'm not interested in chastising your family. I'm not interested in chastising your decisions on how you take care of your temple because I believe that the physical body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and. If you didn't take care of the body and look at the same time, I get it. People are like, well, my dad, he did everything right. Everything. Right. Yeah, that's what we always hear. But you know what's crazy? People have hidden sins that nobody knows about. And it is not our obligation to try to solve those for you. And if you're coming into our room talking about your health problems and other people's health problems that are related to you, those health problems and related things to you are your challenge from the Lord. They are not ours. They are not mine. They are not anyone else's in our room. You understand? Everything here on earth is a test. Okay. And then you die and then eternity begins. What matters now, I can help you with this one. You want to make sure that before your mother, father, uncles, aunt, Joey, niece, whoever is saved before they die. I can help them with eternity. You understand me? Let me repeat that for you. I can help you with eternity. I can tell you the truth about the fact that if you do not accept Christ's gift on the cross, you will die and you will be eternally separated from the Lord in your okay. eternal life. Yes, everyone. Did you know this? Everyone has eternal life. All of it. All of you have eternal life. It just, just depends on where you're going to spend it. In heaven or hell, my friend. It's very simple. Now, that part I can help you with. But you're going to come in there and start guilting people into being like, hey, you know, pay for my mom's heart transplant, whatever. Pay for my dad's knee surgery, blah, blah, blah. Pay for my... Listen. You do not need to guilt people into it. You do not need to come and ask for those things. But that happens. People get in direct messages and all of a sudden they're like, oh, donate to my kid's charity event. Oh, donate to my whatever. Like, why? <laughs> Sorry. You know, like, but that stuff happens. That stuff, you they get in direct messages. You have that type of stuff going. We've had sexual harassment happening in here. Okay. We've had, you know, uh, females who are trying to trade, trying to take care of their stuff and whatnot. And all of a sudden, like, they're getting DMs all over the place and, um, you know, just bad situations. I have yet to find great. Now, good. Sure. There's good things that can happen. Direct messages. Oh, I helped this guy do it. Well, why not just do it in public? Right. Don't be tempted. Exactly. Don't I don't start the temptation. OK, because it starts with a friendly DM. OK, starts with a hey, how's it going? Oh, I was just curious how things are going. Oh, yeah. Hey, hadn't seen you around in a while. If I hear one more person in our room coming, I haven't seen so and so in a while or where's so and so. Who knows? Maybe they died. I mean, I am literally coming straight up like folks. You guys all think that like life is forever. Life is short, folks. Life is short and take care of yourself. Take care of the things you need to take care of. Like, well, it's nice to take care of others. <laughs> If that person needed your help, they would have contacted you and you're not the first on their list. You're just in a discord. They've never seen your face before. Come on, get real. I get it. We start to create these, you know, fake relationships online with these, you know, social media connections and whatnot, which again, social media can be good for a lot of things, but in the same way, it can be bad. If you can say it in a direct message and you can say it in private, you can say it in public. 
And if you can't, in fact, I challenge somebody, give me an example of something that can only be said in private that can't be said in public. Try to find me, I mean, think really hard. I want to find the exceptions to the rule. You're hanging out here in our Discord channel chat. Talk about something that you need to talk about in private that you can't talk about in public. Ready, go. Nothing. The thing is, is anything that can be said in private can be said public. And what's interesting is it'd be like, well, so-and-so can benefit from this. Guess what? So could everyone else. Let me repeat that for you. If it can be beneficial to one, it can also be beneficial to, I wouldn't say all, but some. There are some others. Somebody else is gonna have that same question or same issue. There are a lot of silent types in our room. A lot of people that don't talk a lot, but they're coming in there to find things. I mean, I have people who, yes, I get on telephone calls, with individuals who schedule a call, they don't mind scheduling a call with me, but they're not interested necessarily in talking in public and things of that sort. But they say they learn so much from the public chat. I have a reason for everything that we do here. Everything I ever do, every single thing down to when I fart is thought out. Do you understand? There is nothing, I promise you nothing we have overlooked. On the NQ2. Do not step before I look. So just keep that in mind. And it's for your own good. It's for your own good. It's for our own good. It's for everyone's benefit, I promise. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you've learned. Watch this next video.